Hello, viewers. I'm sure you don't need an introduction by now. But something very important has happened. Eight hours ago, the Russian Federation announced that they were going to launch a full-scale invasion on the city of Deir Ezza. This warning is going out to all citizens of the Euphrates capital. The footage you are seeing was taken by locals and other private journalists. In the videos can be seen Russian artillery striking the city. And here's GoPro footage of Russian infantry holding down a fast food restaurant. It is unknown what the troops' rules of engagement are at this time. Vladimir Putin released a statistics analysis document stating the following. Three armored vehicles battalions consisting of 30 tanks each were deployed last week, as well as 15 attack and transport helicopters, some of which have been downed already, and more than 800 Russian infantrymen have been sent by plane. All of this on top of the 30-plus Russian vehicles already posted in Syria. The most notable example of Russian armor is the 44th Tank Brigade, which made its appearance on the internet on Sunday. Now, we'd like to show you a video of this brigade in action. Here, you can see a turret gunner firing a 50 caliber machine gun down a bridge, suppressing the enemy. Note the 04 for markings on the turret. These tankers are highly trained to eliminate any and all targets assigned to them. And so far, only three vehicle losses have been recorded, which is a staggering difference compared to the Free Syrian Army, which has lost more than 40 vehicles since September. This video shows the brigade holding the Deir Ezzah exit bridge. In the video can be seen three T-72s and a BMPT Terminator, all providing heavy fire into the city across the river. Due to the danger of the situation, all citizens have been ordered to remain indoors and all United States citizens have been ordered to evacuate. And the local United Nations embassies have been locked down until further notice. Now stay safe out there and help will arrive soon. I've been Wyatt with the LARP News channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.